The Splitex split seal is delivered in two pre-assembled units. Also supplied are two mounting plates and matching hexagon socket wrenches. The seal units must be unpacked and placed on a clean surface with their sliding face pointing upwards. The drawing, mounting plates and all essential tools and aids such as hexagon socket wrenches, torque wrenches, ethyl alcohol and cellulose cloths must be clearly arranged, ready to hand. Now disassemble the stationary unit and the rotating unit into two halves each. Undo all the screws of the stationary unit in succession. Then separate the two halves by pulling apart evenly. If necessary, the housing can be levered apart with the help of the mounting plates. To prevent skewing, you should change sides several times. Put down the two halves with the sliding face pointing upwards, then undo all the screws of the rotating unit. Separate the unit by pulling apart evenly into its two halves and put these down too with their sliding face pointing upwards. The O-rings are allowed to project slightly as this will help them to produce an optimum seal when assembled. Next, you must clean the shaft. Check the shaft surface and the flange contact face. You can now begin with the installation of the split X. The two halves of the rotating unit must be placed around the shaft, centered on the pins and pressed together. Prior to installation, you can wet the O-ring at the inner diameter of the drive collar slightly with diluted soap solution so that it slides more easily into operating position. Tighten the screws of the drive collar carefully and uniformly by hand. The fracture faces of the seat halves will be joined so that you can hardly feel the fracture with your finger. Then tighten the screws with the torque specified in the technical drawing. Clamp the mounting plates between the rotating unit and pump the flange. They define the correct fitting dimension. Push the rotating unit squarely against the assembly plates. This is the operating position. Next, you must screw fit the clamping ring. Again, use the torque wrench to apply the correct torque. Here, it is particularly important to tighten the screw with the washer first. Finally, remove the assembly plates. The fracture in the sliding face is now only slightly visible. You should no longer be able to feel it. Clean the sliding face with ethyl alcohol and cellulose cloths until it is free of streak marks. Also clean the sliding face of the stationary unit with ethyl alcohol prior to installation. Place the two halves of the stationary unit carefully over the already mounted rotating unit. As you do so, pass the lip on the end face of the cover over the rotating unit in order to protect the seal face. The housing halves are centered over the pins and pressed together. A gap remains between the seal housing and the pump flange. Now, screw fit the housing of the stationary unit carefully and uniformly by hand. Fasten the stationary unit with two screws to the pump flange. The housing screws of the stationary unit must be tightened with the specified torque in laterally staggered order as illustrated. Then undo the screw fitting to the pump flange again and turn the stationary unit into the operating position. The connections for the supply and disposal lines should preferably be arranged vertically in order to enable complete venting. Screw fit the stationary unit again to the pump flange by hand. Finally, you need only to tighten the flange screws with the specific torque in diagonal order. The split X is then seated on the pump flange without any gap.
Remove the seal's assembly fixtures. The correct installation of the seal is indicated by a slight projection of the torsion lock pins. During operation, these pins can also be used to monitor the mechanical seal's wear. As soon as the pins are in line with the housing face, you should make arrangements for a service. To round off the installation work, lay the connection lines in accordance with the supply system diagram. For the machine to be ready for operation, you must now only fill the sealing chamber with medium and vent it.